Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll learn about machine input output. Questions based on machine input and output are one of the most frequently asked questions in the reasoning ability section of, of the mains examination of banking exams like SBI PO and clerk, IBPS PO and clerk, RRB PO and clerk, etc. Input and output questions are problems that test your aptitude. The solution to such questions is lengthy and you end up spending a lot of time on solving these questions. So speed is very essential here. It is important that you get an understanding of how to solve these questions without getting confused. This is one of the topics where marks can be scored easily if practiced well. In this video, you'll learn about a few tips to solve the input and output reasoning questions, which will help you to understand the concept better. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notification as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. So let's understand what is input and output. In the input and output questions asked in government exams, one input is given followed by the steps used to get an output and then the final output. In these questions, an input line is given which consists of either words or numbers or a combination of both words and numbers. You will be told that a machine rearranges this input in a particular fashion. Your aim is to find the rule followed by the machine in rearranging the input to get the final output. You have to apply this rule to the given input and then answer the given questions. Finding the rule followed by the machine is the key task. Once you find the rule, it's quite easy to answer the questions. Here are a few tips you have to use to solve input and output problems. Check the input. First of all, observe the given input line of words, numbers or combination of words and numbers. Next, check the output so that you may get an idea about the changes affected in the various steps of rearrangement. Without knowing what the final result is, it doesn't make any sense in moving ahead. Next, check the steps previous to the output step to find out how the output is really coming out. Observe the pattern to know how many elements are rearranged in each step, that is one or more than one. Check if the rearrangement is done from the left end or the right end or from both the right and left end. Let's now understand the concept of input. Input can consist of only words, only numbers or a combination of words and numbers. An example for input which consists of only words is data, goat, solo, eat, her, zoo. Here the input consists only of words. An example of input consisting of only numbers is 15, 28, 27, 39, 12, 6. Here you can see that the input consists of only numbers. An example for an input consisting of a combination of words and numbers is flight 37, delay and 53, 87, hour 19 by 46. Here you can see that the input is a combination of words and numbers. 
let's now understand the concept of steps to get the final output changes are done in steps starting from the input the changes are of two types arrangement and shifting let let's now understand what is arrangement method and what is shifting method let's now understand what is arrangement method to get the final output changes are done in steps starting from the input either by arrangement or by shifting method first let's understand arrangement method look at this example here here you are given an input which consists of only numbers then you are given three steps and step 3 is the final step this means that step 3 is the output here now let's understand arrangement method for this given input to do that first you have to observe the output here step 3 is the output when you observe the numbers here you can clearly see that the numbers are arranged in the ascending order now let's look at what changes are being done from input to the out output when you look at input to step 1 you'll see that 12 is moved to the first position in step 1 rest of the numbers are written as they are in step 2 29 is moved to the second position and the rest of the numbers are written as they are observe here that 12 has retained its original position in step 3 33 is moved to the third position and the rest of the numbers are written as they are observe here that uh, 12 and 29 have retained their positions now step 3 is the final step because 56 72 and 92 are already in their correct positions in this step itself this is called auto arrangement so step 3 is the final step now as you have seen here in each step only one number is being rearranged in step 1 12 is rearranged in step 2 29 is rearranged and in step 3 33 is rearranged so in each step only one number is being rearranged also in arrangement type once the numbers are given their correct are moved to their uh, correct positions they retain their positions till the end so you, you can see here that 12 has retained its position till the end here 29 has retained its second position till the end so in arrangement type once the numbers are uh, moved to their correct positions they retain their positions till the end also in arrangement type the numbers are moved in the same order as in the output so here you can see that in the output 12 is the first number so in step 1 12 is the first number that is being moved being moved from the input 12 is the first number that is being rearranged the next number in the output is 29 so in step 2 29 is rearranged next in next is the number 33 in the output so in step 3 33 is uh, rearranged so here you can see that in arrangement type the numbers are moved in each step in the same order as is given in the output hope you have understood the arrangement method let's now understand the shifting method to get the final output changes are done in steps starting from the input either by arrangement or by shifting 
Let's now understand what is shifting method. Look at the example here. Here you are given an input which consists only of numbers. Then you are given six steps and it's given that step six is the final step. This means step six is the output. So this is the output. Now let's understand the shifting method for the given input here. To do that first you have to observe the output. When you look at the output you can clearly see that the numbers are arranged in the ascending order. That is from the smallest number to the largest number. So the output clearly shows that the numbers are arranged in the ascending order. Now let's look at what changes are being done from input to output. So when you look at input to step 1 you will see that 98 is moved to the first position and rest of the numbers are written as they are. In step 2 72 is moved to the first position. Observe here that 98 has been shifted to the second position and the rest of the numbers are written as they are. In step 3 56 is moved to the first position. Observe that 72 and 98 are shifted to second and third positions in step 3 and the rest of the numbers are written as they are. In step 4 33 is moved to the first position. Observe that 56, 72 and 98 are shifted to the second, third and fourth positions in step 4 and the rest of the numbers are written as they are. In step 5 29 is moved to the first position. Observe that 33, 56, 72 and 98 are shifted to the second, third, fourth and fifth positions in step 5. The rest of the numbers are written as they are. In step 6, 12 is moved to the first position. Observe that 29, 33, 56, 72 and 98 are shifted to Twin, uh, the second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth positions to get the final output. Now when you observe the changes from the input to the uh, output, you can clearly see that only one number is being rearranged in each step. In step 1, 98 is rearranged in step 2 72 in step 3 56 and so on so in each step only one number is being rearranged now also here you can see that in shifting method in the first step 98 is the number that is being rearranged in the second step 72 is the number that's being rearranged in the third step 56 is the number that's being rearranged. Now when you compare that with the output, you will clearly see that the numbers are being moved in each step in the reverse order as is in the output. So in shifting type, the numbers are moved in each step in the reverse order as is given in the output. Also you can see here that after uh, the rearrangement, the numbers do not reach, uh, retain their uh, positions till the end. The numbers are constantly being shifted. Hope you have understood the shifting method here. Now observe the important differences between arrangement method and shifting method. In arrangement method, the numbers are moved in each step in the same order as is given in the output. Whereas in the shifting method, the numbers are moved in each step in the reverse order as is given in the output. The other main difference is in the arrangement method, once the uh, numbers are uh, moved to their correct position, the 
numbers retain their position till the end but in the it is not so in the shifting method in shifting method in each step the numbers keep getting shifted so they do not retain their position hope you have understood both the arrangement method and shifting method understanding arrangement and shifting method is very important you'll come to know about the importance of uh, arrangement and shifting method when you start solving problems on machine input and output let's now understand the concept of output output can be of many types a few of them are in the output words may be in the order of their appearance in the dictionary that is according to the alphabetical order in the output words may be in the reverse alphabetical order or in the output words may be split into words starting with vowels and words starting with consonants which can be either arranged in alphabetical order or in reverse alphabetical order in the output words may be according to the total number of letters in each word in the output numbers may be in the ascending or descending order in the output numbers may be split into even and odd numbers which can be either in the ascending or in the descending order the output may consist of both words and numbers there can be innumerable types of output let's now understand the types of input and output questions asked in competitive exams generally each set of questions on input and output is based on a particular rule the machine input questions may be asked in various forms the important ones are rearranging the data based on order rearranging the data based on interchanging the position of words and numbers rearranging the data based on mathematical operations now these are not the only types of rearrangement there can be innumerable ways of rearrangement of input line of words or numbers now let's learn these three main types of rearrangements with the help of examples let's now learn the meaning of rearranging the data based on order so when the data is rearranged uh, based on order it means that either the words are rearranged alphabetically in the forward or uh, reversed or numbers are rearranged in ascending or descending order the rearrangement is usually based on the first letter of every word sometimes it is based on the last letter of every word both words and numbers could be rearranged individually or simultaneously in each step the rearrangement could either start with a word or a number the rearrangement can start from the left end or the right end or sometimes even simultaneously from both the ends now let's understand uh, how to rearrange data based on order with the help of a few examples let's now learn how data is rearranged based based on order with the help of an example now in this example you will learn how 
uh, words are rearranged according to alphabetical order so here in this input you are given only words and then you are given three steps and it's given that step 3 is the final step this means step 3 is the output now let's uh, lo uh, look at what changes are taking place from input to output to do that first you have to observe the output now the output clearly shows that the rearrangement is being done in the forward alphabetical order forward alphabetical order means from a to z so the output clearly shows that the words are arranged in forward alphabetical order from am to on now let's look at the changes taking place from input to output so when you look at input to step 1 you will see that am is moved to the first position at the left end and the rest of the words are written as they are in step 2 can is moved to the second position and the rest of the words are written as they are observe that am has retained its position in step 3 do is moved to the third position and the rest of the words are written as they are observe that am and can have retained their position in step 3 now step 3 is the final step because is and on are already in their correct positions in step 3 that is is and on are already auto arranged so step 3 is the final step and you can see here that the words are arranged in forward alphabetical order in step 3 now when you observe the changes from step 1 to uh, from input to step 3 you will see that uh, in each step only one word is being rearranged at the left end in step 1 it is am in step 2 it is can and in step 3 it is do so only one word is being rearranged at the left end in each step now when you observe these steps you will see that arrangement method is being followed here because the uh, words are uh, being rearranged in each step in the same order as is given in the output in the output am is the first word so in step 1 first am is being rearranged in the output can is the second word so in step 2 can is being rearranged in the output do is the third word and in step 3 do is being rearranged also you can see that once the words are uh, placed in their correct positions they retain their position till the end so all this shows that arrangement method is being followed here hope you have understood how data is rearranged based on order in this example Let's now learn how data is rearranged based on order with another example. In this example you learn how rearrangement of words is being done according to the total number of letters in each word. Look at the example given here. Here the input consists only of words. Then you are given three steps and it's given that step 3 is the final step. this means step 3 is the output now let's see what all changes are taking place from input to output to do that first observe the output the output here clearly shows that the words are rearranged in the decreasing order of the total number of letters in each word now always has six letters so it is placed first in the output never has five letters so it is placed second lies has four letters so it's placed in the third position and she has three letters and so it's placed in the fourth position so clearly you can see that the output shows that the words are rearranged in the decreasing order of the total number of letters in each word 
Now let's look at what all changes are taking place from input to the output. So when you look at input to step one, you'll see that always is moved to the first position. And the rest of the letters are, uh, rest of the words are written as they are. In step two, never is moved to the second position and the rest of the words are written as they are. Observe that always has retained its position in step two. In step three, lies has moved to the third position and the remaining word is written as it is. Observe that always and never have retained their position in step three. Now step three is the final step because she is already auto arranged in, is already auto arranged. That is she is already in the correct position. So this is the final output. Here you can see that the words are rearranged in the decreasing order of the total number of letters in each word. Now, when you observe all these steps, you can clearly see that in each step, rearrangement is taking place one word at a time at the left end. So in the first step, it is always. In the second step, it is never. And in the third step, it is lies. So one word is being rearranged at a time at the left end in each step. Also, uh, you can see that arrangement method is being followed here because the rearrangement of words is taking place in the same order as is given in the output. In the output always is the first word. So in step one always is arranged first. In, um, in the output never is the second word. So in step two after always never is uh, rearranged. In the output lies is the third word and in step three lies is arranged next after always and never. So you can see here that the rearrangement of words is taking place in the same order as is given in the output. Also you can observe that once the words are moved to their correct positions, they retain their positions till the end. All this shows that arrangement method is being followed here. Hope you have understood how rearrangement of words according to the total number of letters in each word is being done in this example. Let's now learn how data are rearranged based on order with the help of an example. Here in this example, you will learn about rearrangement of numbers. Here you are given an input which consists only of numbers. Then you are given six steps. Uh, then you are given five steps and it's given that step five is the final step. This means uh, step five is the output. Now let's see what all changes are taking place from input to the output. To, to do that first you have to observe the output. Now the output clearly shows here that the numbers are split into uh, even numbers 6, 12 and 28 and odd numbers 39, 27 and 15. And you can clearly see here that the even numbers are arranged in the ascending order that is from the smallest to the largest and the odd numbers are being arranged in the descending order that is from the largest to the smallest. So the output here shows that even numbers are arranged in the ascending order first and then odd numbers are arranged in the descending order. Now let's see what all changes are taking place from input to the output. When you look at input to step one, you will see that first six is moved to the 
first position in step 1 and the rest of the numbers are written as they are in step 2 12 is moved to the second position and the rest of the numbers are written as they are observe that 6 has retained its position in step 2 in step 3 28 is moved to the third position and the rest of the numbers are written as they are observe that 6 and 12 have retained their positions in step 3 in step 4 39 is moved to the fourth position and the rest of the numbers are written as they are observe that 6 12 and 28 have retained their positions in step 4 in step 5 27 is moved to the fifth position and the remaining number is retain uh, re is written as it is observe that 6 12 28 and 39 have retained their positions in step 5 now step 15 is already uh, now number 15 is already uh, re in its correct position that is it is already auto arranged so step 5 is the final step now here you can see that the even numbers are arranged in ascending order first and then the odd numbers are arranged in descending order so this is the final step this is the output now when you look at the changes from input to output you will see that um, in each step only uh, one number is being uh, rearranged at the left end in step 1 it is 6 in step 2 it is 12 in step 3 it is 28 in step 4 it is 20, uh, 39 and in step 5 it is 27 so only one number is being rearranged in each step at the left end now also you can see here that uh, arrangement method is being followed here because the numbers are being rearranged in each step in the same order as is given in the output also you can see here that once the numbers are uh, moved to their correct positions they retain that position till the end so clearly arrangement method is being followed here hope you have understood how rearrangement of numbers is being done for this particular input in the example here let's now understand how data is rearranged based on interchanging the position of words and numbers in this type the position of numbers alphabets or words in the input changes according to questions following a particular pattern which repeats itself for example it may be shift first number to the last or it may be interchange first and last words or numbers etc let's understand this method with the help of an example let's now learn how data is rearranged based on interchanging the position of words or numbers with the help of an example look at the example given here here the input consists only of words then you are given four steps and then it's given and so on and so on indicates that step 4 is not the final step the process is continued using the logic followed in the earlier steps and so there are many more steps after step 4 now when you look at step 4 the pattern is not visible right away so to understand the logic being followed number each word of the input and also number uh, each word of the steps then try to find the logic being followed 
so first number the words given in the input that is 1 for is 2 for 2 3 for before 4 for go 5 for back and 6 for on now when you look at step 1 you'll see that uh, go is moved to the first position in step 1 that is the fourth word of the input is moved to the first position of step 1 and the rest of the words are written as they are now number the uh, words of step 1 moving on to step 2 you will see that go and is have interchanged their uh, positions and the rest of the words are written as they are now in step 1 the nearest word to go is is in step 2 go has interchanged its position with is now number the words in step 2 now moving on to step 3 you'll see that before is moved to the first position in step 3 that is the fourth word of step 2 is moved to the first position of step 3 and the rest of the words are written as they are now number the uh, words in step 3 moving on to step 4 you'll see that before has interchanged its position with is and the rest of the words are written as they are now in step 3 the nearest word to before is is so in step 4 before has interchanged its position with is now you can see a logic here the logic that is being followed from input to step 1 is being replicated in step 3 that is the fourth word is uh, moved to the first place and the logic that is uh, being followed in step 2 is being replicated in step 4 that is the mode word interchanges its position with the word nearest to it now this process continues in the next steps with the using the same logic that is being followed that is first the fourth word is moved to the first place then in the next step the mode word interchanges its position with the word nearest to it so this process continues using the same logic followed in the earlier steps hope you have understood how data is rearranged based on interchanging the position of words or numbers let's now learn how data is rearranged based on mathematical operations some mathematical operations like squaring the number or adding the digits within the number or some common number is added subtracted multiplied or divided to each number etc are applied on the numbers in each step now let's understand this method with the help of examples let's now understand how data is rearranged based on mathematical operations with the help of an example look at the example given here here the given input consists only of numbers then you are given three steps and step 3 is the final step this means that step 3 is the output here now when you look at the numbers given in the output and the numbers in the uh, when you look at the numbers given in the input and the numbers in the output you will see that the numbers in the output are completely different from the numbers given in the input this clearly shows that some mathematical operation is being done on the numbers given in the input now let's uh, look at the changes that is taking place from the input to the output now when you look at input to step 1 you'll see that 26 has become 20 34 is retained as as it is 56 is written as it is 78 is written as it is 63 is written as it is 
but 99 has changed to 90. Now, when you look at the number 26 here, you can see that 6 is in the uh, 6 is the unit digit of number 26 and 26 minus 6 is 20. Similarly, 9 is the unit digit in 99 and 99 minus 9 is 90. So, two numbers have um, changed in step 1. One at the left end and one at the right end. Now, let's move on to step 2. In step 2, you can see that 20 has retained its position. 34 becomes 30, 56 is written as it is, 78 is written as it is, 63 has become 60 and 90 has retained its position. Now here also you can see that 4 is the units digit in number 34. 34 minus 4 is 30. Similarly, 3 is the units digit in the number 63. 63 minus 3 is 60. So the same logic is up, uh, is continued, is used from step 1 to step 2. Now let's move on to step 3. Here you can see that 20 and 30 have retained their positions. 56 has become 50, 78 has become 70 and 60 and 90 have retained their positions. Now you can see that 6 is the units digit in the number 56. 56 minus 6 is 50. Similarly, 8 is the units digit in 78. 78 minus 8 is 70. So you can see here that two numbers again have uh, changed in step 3. Now finally you have got the output of in step 3. Hope you have understood why the numbers in the output are different from the numbers in the input. The numbers in the output is different from the numbers in the input because some mathematical operation is being done on the numbers in the input. Hope you have understood this method. Here are a few more tips which will help you to solve input and output problems. If the input and the subsequent steps involve the same numbers, then it is most likely to be a problem of either shifting or arrangement. If the numbers change in the subsequent steps, then it's a problem of mathematical operations. If either the first or the last word or number of all the steps excluding the input remains unchanged, then it is most certain that arrangement method is being followed. One thing you have to note is if in the question nth step is given and if any of the previous steps is asked, then your answer should be cannot be determined. For example, if fourth step is given and you are asked about the second or third step, then you, uh, then you simply choose the option cannot be determined. This is because the word or number which is to be arranged can come from anywhere. That is, its position could be anywhere in the previous step. So, the position of any word or number in the previous step cannot be determined and hence we cannot find the previous step. So, whenever in the question nth step is given and if any of the previous steps is asked, your answer should always be cannot be determined. Viewers, Please go through this video till you have understood the concept. A thorough knowledge of the concept will help you in answering questions correctly on this topic. Please do watch our video on solved problems on machine input and output. Part 1 If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.